Hey everybody, Mark Lotz here uh, to talk about some do-it-yourself tips for your home uh, at Discover Your Home here. Uh, let's talk about, well, it's the big weekend here, a uh, big football game coming up, and what we're looking at, let's just say your family room's just getting a little tired and uh, you're ready to go ahead and kind of get it freshened up for those, uh, those new guests that are uh, expected to come over for the big game. So uh, what I'm going to talk to you a little bit about today is what I like to use, what I've used. Uh, you know, this is not product endorsement. Uh, I'm not a, I'm not married to any one company as far as you know brands of their product. Um, I I'm a big believer in you know a product for a specific purpose, and some I really love, and some I don't really love so much. But we're going to talk about the ones that I like to use. Give you some reasons why. Give you a couple tips on you kind of turning this project around for yourself this weekend so you have a, uh, a, a, a successful big Sunday, okay? So let's talk about um, first primers. Let's just say you've gone and you had some wallpaper up in that family room, you stripped it down, and you're having some issues with the wallboard, the face of the wallboard coming down. Uh, there's a primer out there that I exclusively use when I'm having, especially when I, when I take down wall covering and there's either some wallpaper residue there or I've got a real troubled surface. I like to use a product by Zinzer. Let me grab it here real quick. It's a product called Guards, okay? It is a water-based problem surface sealer. Uh, it's clear, which is kind of nice. So for your do-it-yourselfers, if you get a little bit on the trim work, uh, you probably won't notice it. But if you're, you know, an area where there's a countertop or cabinet and you splatter all over it, make sure you get it cleaned off because when this stuff dries, it's going to be tough to get off. Okay? Does a great job. A lot of times when you do have issues when you're removing wallpaper, uh, uh, the wallpaper can bubble on you. This locks it down, locks the paste down, uh, keeps that water or latex-based paint from penetrating and re-wetting, say, the paste that's on the wall. So this is an excellent, excellent product. You can find it at a lot of your paint stores that are out there. You can also find it at uh, some of the big box stores, okay? So now, moving on. Another primer that I'd like to talk about is a, a product by Sherwin-Williams. may not be able to see it, get a little closer. It's not just bonding primer, it's extreme bond primer. So this is for surfaces that generally what we're using them for is um, hard surfaces uh, like say you've got uh, casing and doors that were you know house was built in the 80s 90s and you don't like the color and you want to paint the trim this is where you go ahead scuff up the surface put this on the real key to this product is is after you're putting it on and and the application of it is making sure that it dries so when it's good and dry it bonds incredibly well so great product love to use it um, we'll go from there so this is Sean Williams extreme bonding primer so now we're going to talk about want to paint that ceiling in the family room what do I like to use and I get a lot of questions when I'm with customers and like oh I want to use this or I want to use this it really gets back to the overall look and I find that most people and most of my customers want a, a real flat, a real kind of a dull, flat look to the ceiling. So we use another product called um, by Sherwin-Williams called CHB Flat Latex Paint. And this is really, this is a great workhorse product. Um, what I like to use this for, typically with ceilings, closets, um, it's not really a washable product, but it really gives you a dry uh, you know, covers well, levels well. Um, in the application process, you're definitely going to need a two-coat application for for this product. Um, it, it it'll cover white on white, but when you go to head, go ahead and you're looking to go over a different color, you're definitely going to need two-coat applications. This is also a really nice product for um, let's say you're selling your house and you just kind of want to give the the whole house a good uh, kind of a whitewash excellent product uh, very cost effective does a great job uh, but that's really specifically for what we use it for our ceilings okay 
Is it available in five gallons? Look, somebody asked a question out there. Uh, yes, it is available in five gallon buckets. You have to talk with your local Sherwin Williams rep. Okay, so now time comes. I'm going to go ahead and um, let's talk about wall paint. What do I like to use? Um, there's two products I really like to use. One by Benjamin Moore. <clears throat> Excuse me, got a little bit of a cold. One by Benjamin Moore, one by Sherwin Williams. Let's start with the, the Benjamin Moore. And it's their Regal Select line. They have matte uh, eggshell and I believe semi-gloss and gloss finish in the Regal Select. Um, I personally like the matte and the eggshell finish. I'm gonna generally use eggshells in my um, bathrooms, uh, kitchens, high traffic areas. If I want something just a little bit more sheen, maybe a little bit more washability. Uh, great, great product. F levels real nice, dries down beautifully, doesn't need to be primed. I always, anytime you are going over a color with a different color, I am always going to recommend two coats. I know there are a lot of products out there that say it's one coat coverage. I'm going to tell you what. I've been at this game a very long time, and you're going to find that I don't care how good you are, you're going to miss some spots. So two coats, uh, general cover. A lot of times what you'll find is uh, when you're you know, trimming out the, the corners and the ceilings and stuff, and you roll this out, you're going to find that you're going to get a, two different colors just because things cover it. You know, brushing on the paint versus rolling the paint uh, covers two different kind of at two different levels. Great product, covers well, uh, don't know pricing on it, but well worth it. I'm a big believer if you're gonna go ahead and do a, a project, especially inside of your home, spend a little bit more money, you get a little bit better quality, and you truly won't be dissatisfied with the Benjamin Moore Regal Select line. Okay, now we're gonna run over to the Sherwin-Williams line. This is another workhorse I, I, I love. The Duration Home. This is their matte finish. I have, um, I have a majority of my house done on the inside with the uh, Duration matte finish. I like uh, it. Wears incredibly well. Goes on well. Levels real well. Um, washes up real well. Everything you know when you go, you know, splatter some jelly on the wall, or you know, the dogs shake and you know get dirt on the wall. This is a great product. What I really, really like about it is that it, when you look at it, look at it dead straight on, it's going to give you a real flat look. But if you kind of come to the side, it's got a little bit of a sheen, but not too much. But it wears incredibly well. This is definitely one of the two products that uh, that I highly recommend for doing the walls. Uh, you can't go wrong. There again, priced very sensible, and you'll be very happy. Uh, five, six, seven years down the road on how well this product wears. Okay, so we're going to talk about trim paint. I got two favorite trim paints. There again, some I, some I, um, some products I absolutely uh, just I love, and I'm gonna you know if I like not just because of you know maybe the way it wears. Uh, application is real important to, to to guys out in the field. So um, sometimes a product. Can be a little bit pricier, and you go and find that it doesn't it doesn't apply very well. Uh, the products I'm talking about are definitely going to wear very well and apply very easily, especially to your do-it-yourselfers out there. Okay, so let's talk about trim paint. The first one I'm talk to you about is Sherwin Williams. Got a little paint on here. This is this is actually my can from my house. So this is the Pro Classic. I believe this is the Satin finish there again. I don't like a lot of sheen uh, on my uh, millwork and doors, so I like to go with the satin finish. Uh, what I love about the Pro Classic, um, when it dries and you have to put another coat on, sands up real well, uh, levels incredibly well. Uh, you do have to make sure that um, you have to make sure that when you put this on, it's not. You don't put it on too heavy because you will find that you are going to have some challenges with paint running on you. Uh, can be a little temperamental with humidity, but for the most part, does a great job uh, for millwork. Okay, my final product tonight is 
product that used to be, well, still actually is, but really now is sold more in a water base. But uh, we got here the Benjamin Moore Water Base Satin Impervo. Excellent product, brush as well. Uh, they used to make this and all, they actually still do, uh, but for the most part, um, when we're applying this, goes great on by brush and roller, um, wears well, levels nice, looks incredibly beautiful if you if you decide you got a, a spray application and you do it yourselfers like to use an HVLP or a um, airless sprayer is this product levels phenomenally if that's a word so okay so that's really about all I'm going to talk about these are things that I use every day we're using out in the field we're using in customers homes and we use in our homes uh, my last really I got a tip what do I like to use as far as a roller cover a uh, little bit pricier. I find that the half inch or three quarter inch lamb's wool uh, rollers do a fantastic job. They, they apply the paint well. They clean up really well. You can use them time and time again. Um, you're going to find there'll be a little bit on the pricier side, but I can guarantee you this. If you use them, wash them out, keep them clean. You could probably keep one if you're, if you're painting a couple rooms a year, you'd probably keep it a good, around for a good five to 10 years. It's a, it's a really good cover. Uh, other than that, make sure you don't put too much pressure on that roller handle to flatten that roller out. You'll work a little harder. Let the roller do the work. Hey, thanks again for joining us. I'm Mark with Discovery Home. We'll see you next Wednesday. Thanks.